It's been five months since he left, but Dominic Cummings is still making headlines and making enemies. Accused of leaking the Prime Minister's text messages, he hit back. In his latest blog released yesterday, he turns on his former boss, revealing details of private conversations and branding some of Boris Johnson's plans unethical, foolish, possibly illegal. There are millions of people out there who want the government to get on the sort of the pandemic, want the government to fix the economy, want the government to fix issues of social inequality and so on. And what I think we're seeing is a soap opera of narcissists. There's chaos in there. It's not a government, it's chaos. Now the battle of the briefings begins between Mr Cummings and Downing Street over who did leak details of the second Covid lockdown back in October. He says all evidence at the time pointed to Henry Newman, a Downing Street aide and a friend of the Prime Minister's fiance, and that when Boris Johnson was told that, he tried to stop the leak inquiry, saying it would cause him serious problems with Carrie. Sources in government say it was Mr Cummings himself who was the so-called chatty rat, and reports today even claim that MI5 were brought in at the time to confirm it. According to Health Minister Nadine Doris, Downing Street know 100% who the chatty rat was, and those who protest it wasn't me doth protest way too much. The other dispute is over the refurbishment of Downing Street, reportedly requested by Ms Simmons, who hired A-list interior designer Lulu Little. The project is said to have run into six figures. Mr Cummings claims that the Prime Minister told him of a plan to have Tory donors secretly pay for the renovation, but that he was against it and refused to help. In a statement, Downing Street said Mr Johnson has paid for the work himself. Labour are demanding an inquiry. Whether it's the refurb of number 10, whether it's the dodgy contracts, whether the privileged access, if there's nothing to see, publish everything, have a full inquiry because that, you know, sunlight is the best disinfectant. But the sleaze allegations just keep coming. The latest casualty, Eddie Lister, who is facing a mounting list. Are you part of sleaze at the heart of government, Lord Lister? including claims he has shares in a company that has been awarded almost £1 million worth of government contracts. Late last night, he stood down from his senior role as special envoy for the Gulf. The Prime Minister thanked him for his service. Some have suggested the Prime Minister's standoff with Mr Cummings is a deliberate attempt by Number 10 to distract from the detail of the cronyism claims they face. A tactic known as a dead cat. If you're going to play the dead cat strategy, it's very important to be certain the cat actually is dead. Now, this cat, the Cummings, appears to be very much still alive. And so we now have what is unquestionably a mortal combat. And who do you think will win? I, I don't want to call it. What I say is that Britain is the loser. The Electoral Commission is currently seeking answers over the Downing Street refurbishment. A number 10 spokesman said all donations were transparently declared in line with electoral law.